Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. You guys, I am so, so excited and so blown away with how my shed turned out. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how my husband and I and our family turned this brand new 10 by 16 Dutchman shed that was not finished whatsoever into this gorgeous, absolutely stunning craft space as well as my filming studio. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Right now I'm standing in the corner I see you from across the room It's kind of crowded here But I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh Everybody's Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel Coming to you live from the She Shed I know you guys have been asking about it This is some of the materials that we need to finish um, we're going to insulate the whole thing and get beadboard up and I've got a lot going on So I wanted to show you guys it real quick. I mean It's gorgeous. There's a loft. We're gonna put another loft up here. Okay, so in the beginning this was a total mess in here So just please excuse the mess, but I'm sure as most of you know when you start a project it looks a total mess and then once you're done you're like wow that mess was totally worth it but you're gonna see my hands a lot because I originally just did this video and talked right into the camera but it was too long and the audio was messed up I was using my phone and in the end you'll see that I was using my phone and I cut the audio out as well I didn't want it to be a bad experience for you guys but basically to start off my husband ran the electric gave me a bunch of plugs light switches and then um, behind my desk he put insulation up and beadboard up originally I was going to do beadboard on the ceiling but you guys it's super expensive it's literally $35 a sheet so we just went with something really cheap and easy which is called Lawan it's usually used for flooring and we put that up on the ceiling and then I just painted it so this is the part where he had the beadboard up and the ceiling up and then he also put the beadboard around the inside of the windows and then he trimmed them out really nice and then he put my pegboard up and made a border around the pegboard. Now this is the part where it's basically all finished on the inside except for some little things here and there that he can work around while I'm moving in here and that light right there you see he just had to straighten it up now eventually I'm going to put those lights in the middle when he did them I don't know what I was thinking honestly you guys I told him to put it there and then like once it was done I was like I don't even know what I was thinking but he did the ceiling really really nice we had to cut or he had to cut notches out so that the lawan would fit around the beams and then I didn't know what he was going to do to cover that and then I came out one day and he had trim around them and I was like holy smokes I wouldn't have thought of that that looks so good Anyway, you guys, this is not my normal content. I see that 80% of you are watching, but you're not subscribed. So I love to do farmhouse decor, Dollar Tree DIYs, anything that's really cheap to make, but that looks extremely high end. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you would stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and then tap the bell and all to be notified every single time I upload so you don't miss another Dollar Tree high-end decor moment. 
So once we had the inside all done, my husband put together those two six cube organizers like you see, and then it was move in time. So I just boxed everything up in the house and I took it out here little by little. And then I put like the finished crafts in a bin and put it up in the loft. I got these bag holders from Amazon. Everything that I talk about that I can link, I will link in the description box. But they're perfect for vinyl. They just, or your vinyl just slides right through them holes. And a few of my bigger rolls didn't fit, so I just put them in a bin. No big deal. But for the most part, this worked so good. I then just took a bunch of my stuff and I got a bunch of Rubbermaid containers. Originally, I got these containers from Dollar Tree that were a little bit bigger, but they weren't square at the bottom. And with my OCD, I, it was driving me nuts that some of the stuff would not sit upright. So I did end up just going on Amazon and getting some bins. Now, some of the stuff I took out of the package because it doesn't always fit when you have it in the package and I feel like it's just wasted space. So my biggest tip for you guys is to take stuff out of the package and it should fit really nicely. So I kind of just categorized everything, put them in bins, and then I also went to Walmart and got the three drawer plastic bins. Eventually I'm going to get a different drawer system but for now quick and easy I just got those which I will show you in a second. I also wanted to show you guys another tip. I got these home and gardens container set. I knew that they would be perfect for things like these little tumbling tower blocks and wooden beads not only for the aesthetic but it's just a really good storage container to keep this kind of stuff in i didn't know what i was going to use for this kind of stuff and then around christmas time these were on sale so i picked them up for about 24 dollars because i knew that they were perfect for what i needed them for now have you guys seen these huge or huge boxes of tumbling tower blocks at Dollar Tree. They had them out with the stocking stuffers. So I went ahead and bought a couple packs while they were the mega packs because you guys probably know that usually these come in those little teeny tiny packs. So this was definitely a good deal. So once I had the tumbling tower blocks put in there, I also put the little mini wooden squares in there as well. Now, I have so much stuff, you guys. I knew that it was not going to be enough storage. So I did go to Walmart and I purchased two three shelf bookshelves and I just stacked them on top of each other and I put them in the corner over by my storage shelves on the right hand side of my shed and my little helper here you guys are going to see her in and out and really everybody in my family because this truly was a family affair and I loved it so much. I just sat and thought how cool it would be while I'm crafting for everybody to come in and out and hang with me. But um, I just wanted to show you what it looked like with the shelves up and also look at this mess you guys and that was only about a quarter of my mess. So here I am showing you me putting the beads in there. Um, I have all different sizes. So the bigger beads, obviously I put in bigger containers. And then I had some really, really tiny wooden beads that I save all my jars, you know, when I'm cooking. And um, I always wash them out, take the labels off, and I save them. So I just took one of those little jars and put the small ones in there. And here the kids are in and out, in and out. They had so much fun in here with me helping. And like I said, I truly loved it. So here are those plastic bins that I told, or plastic drawer, drawers that I was telling you about. Um, 
for the top shelf where my tools are, it was a little bit flimsy and every time I opened the drawer, it would kind of like fall to the front. So all I did was just took a piece of foam board, I cut it down to size and then I stuck it right in that drawer and then put all my heavier tools in there that I wasn't going to store on the pegboard just to give it a little bit more support until I can get a better drawer system in here. Like I said, next I just put all my tools in that drawer and then Way back when I first started my channel, I put these labels on my drawers. A few of the labels I'm going to have to take off and redo. And then I'm also going to do a Cricut video for you guys showing you how I label all my newer bins. So definitely look out for that video. That will be coming in the next week or so. And I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys the Cricut Joy and just some beginner projects because I know a lot of you don't have a Cricut. And I thought that it would be a perfect way to show you a very budget-friendly, easy Cricut to buy. And it can still do everything you guys want mostly. So here is more stuff, you guys. This was the last of it. And boy oh boy was this a ton of work when I started doing this I had so much anxiety you guys I kept telling my husband oh, I'm just so nervous I hate clutter I hate a mess but I just plugged away at it I went box by box and once I got into the routine and I knew kind of where everything was going I was addicted to it. I wanted to be out there just getting it done and organizing it. I literally had so much fun doing this. So because I use so many wood projects or so many wood um, items, I definitely wanted my wood stuff that could fit in these drawers to be nearby. So I did put those in these drawers underneath as well as things like my floral and like you saw my tools, stuff like that. So I basically just, um, like I said, organized it by category. Now the other thing is I won't really know exactly where I want things until I start crafting in here and boy oh boy am I so excited for that you guys I've been off for a few weeks and I'm just so ready to craft again 2021 is going to have many surprises and I hope you guys will stick around for that journey I can't wait to see where it leads us so I needed some paint or for my chalk paste from Chalk Couture, I needed a system to where I could see the colors. And so I bought these shelves off Amazon. Like I said, I will leave it in the link below. So I just had my husband help me. I can do this, you guys. I just get so nervous that I'm going to mess it up on my walls and then have holes in it. So for this kind of stuff, I always try to get him to help me. And of course, he never hesitates. But these were really cool because they came with these really strong brackets that you just screw to the wall into a stud and then you slide the shelf right on there. Here is a little message from my munchkin after I put this coffee pot up. Good job, Mama. You did a great job. So next, my husband had this brilliant idea. I have a lot of longer square dowels and just things that are just really hard to store. So he said, well, let me go out to my shed and grab a PVC pipe and I will screw it to 
the 2x4 in there and then you can put your stuff in. So this is just brilliant. I'm so glad I have him because he always has the best ideas that I probably would never think of. Next, we had these drawer or shelves. I actually have these in my bathroom. I will link them down below. They're really cheap. They're lightweight. They're easy to install, and they just look so gorgeous. He also installed my clock for me because although this is my craft shed, I still wanted it to feel homey and decorative, and I just love the farmhouse feel as well as the artsy feel. It's just such a good feeling, so I am just so grateful and thankful because without you guys, this is definitely not possible at all, but I put my chalk pastes up on my shelves, and I'm that type that it's got to be color-coded red orange yellow blah 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 and then I took all my acrylic paints out as well as my Waverly chalk paint and I got this at Hobby Lobby you guys it was pretty expensive but I did just want to get it because I wanted to see how well it worked and I'm going to show you guys how to make this with Dollar Tree products. Originally, I was going to upload that video in place of this one, but I thought that it would be kind of silly to do that first and then this video. Plus, you guys, we drove around the lower part of my state to try to find the items, and unfortunately, I couldn't find them. So, my friend Nicole over at the Weeks Nest found them and she's sending them in the mail. So as soon as I get them, I will have that video up for you guys. But I also got these pen marker storage off of Amazon as well. I got two different kinds and I use these to organize my paint pens. And then I just put the tips in a little jar because the Arteza paint pens come with replaceable tips. When you use paint pens, the tips tend to wear out really easy. So they send replacement ones and I wanted to store them nearby. Next, I just took all my Arteza acrylic paints and I stored those in this paint storage as well. I don't think that's what this is for but I used it for that and I love the way that it looks. So like I said, I'll definitely show you guys how to make one for much cheaper. And I just love how aesthetically pleasing it is. Any crafter knows that color is just so satisfying. There's just something about it. So I love looking at all my paints and my chalk paste since now I can see what I have. So we're nearing the end, you guys. Once I had everything in the bins categorized, then I just put them all on the top shelf and then I placed them next to where they kind of go with each other. So I put like all the wooden signs in one spot and then like the glass candle holders and things like candle, um, like the LED candles and just stuff like that. So anyway, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, go over, check me out, follow me because you guys will get behind the scenes. You will get sneak peeks. I showed everybody over on Instagram my shed before I upload it here. It's definitely a fun time. I share more personal things like stories and more up to date. So definitely check me out over there. The link is in the description box. So next I just decorate my pegboard. Not only did I want it to just look decorative, but I also wanted it to be functional. Some of my chalk couture transfers are just too big and I I'm just a visual person, so I like to be able to see them. So I did place them on the pegboard, and then this is probably my favorite thing. I had all my ribbons in a box. I could never see what I had. So I got this idea off of Google, and it's just a piece of threaded rod and uh, door handles or drawer handles on the ends. 
and then you just place them right on uh, the pegboard hooks and then you have functional ribbon that you can see and you can just uh, unpin it, pull it off and use it. So I just organized my pegboard. Look how gorgeous this is. There's just something about pegboards that I just love so much. I love the way that they look. It's a great backdrop. So once I was done putting this all together, I just cannot believe that this is my shed, you guys, literally. So of course, because I'm just so extra like that, <laughs> <laughs> you guys know I'm extra. Come on. Um, I wanted to put lights behind my cube organizers. Now, you will see that I couldn't get it, you guys. My Wi-Fi didn't reach out here. So, at the time, I didn't have a Wi-Fi extender. I do have one out there now. It was a little late for this video, but... Um, these work off of Wi-Fi so you can control the colors from your phone and the Wi-Fi wouldn't reach like I said. So it was just flashing the one side. Um, I have them working now but I just wanted to show you guys how cool they look. So last but not least. I just vacuum up the area really, really well. And then I kept telling my husband, I cannot wait until I put this rug out because that means that I am finished. That is the last step in this process. And I cannot believe after almost, or actually after over two months that this is my new crafting studio. And I could not be more pleased and excited. I just can't wait to see what 2021 has for us because you guys are the biggest part of that. I just put the content out, but you guys make this all possible. So without further ado, I'm going to give you a tour. Okay guys, so let's start with my little munchkins table. I knew that I wanted to have a space for both of them out here. Something for them to do because I was always in the house. So they could just be in the living room or right there with me. So I put together some craft supplies. I bought this table and I made the top a dry erase board. I will leave both of those items that I used in the description box in my Amazon favorites. And then moving on to my storage shelves. Um, I had to take the audio out of this you guys because it was terrible and uh, I don't know why I did that. I didn't realize it but Basically, um, my husband put flooring on the top so that way I could choose between um, the gray flooring as well as that light faux wood looking contact paper just for staging and I have my big ring light for lighting purposes. At the bottom, I have a lot of jars and glassware that I got from Dollar Tree as well as the jars that I save from cooking and I store those at the bottom. The green bin just has random things that couldn't fit in the smaller bins. And then I got this beautiful miter saw for Christmas from my dad. Shout out to you, dad. Thank you. And so I store that down there as well and just some other bins for future use. Now in this bookshelf that I put together, I just have some white bins from Dollar Tree, all my Arteza products, as well as the longer beware signs from Dollar Tree at the bottom. 
My husband gave me these bins out of his work trailer. We actually got him some different ones. So rather than give them away, I utilized them for my scrapbook paper, bigger things like big canvases and chalkboards from Arteza as well. I stored those at the top and then my scrapbook paper at the bottom because the bottom one is just a tad bigger. Now these are like those cheap signs from Dollar Tree that I use constantly that were all different shapes and sizes. So I had this pink bin from inside the house and I just kind of stuck those in between the bookshelf and my cube organizers. Like I said before, I had those plastic bag um, storage container, I don't even know what you want to call it, and I stored my vinyl in there, and then I just put a screw at the top of the bookshelf, and I stored my Cricut mats there. I just stored random stuff in the cubes. Um, it's much more organized than it was in the house. Um, I wanted these cube organizers to be lower than the pegboard. That way I could utilize the entire pegboard rather than from the cube organizers up. So originally I had nine cube organizers, two of them. So we did take those back and just get six cubes. I can also link those down below as well. I just kind of stored my uh, Jenga blocks and my beads more for decorative purposes. The bigger one doesn't fit in these cubes anyway, so I thought that they looked cute on top of there. I also have like a bin for my techie stuff like lights and tripods, things of that nature in that bin, and then um, like I said, just other random categories in these cube organizers. I more so wanted this for decorative purposes, but once I put the shed together, I was really happy to have those because obviously looking at all this stuff, you can never have enough storage. So here is where I show you how amazing these ribbon holders are. Um, I got like I said, threaded rods. You want to get the smallest size that they have. I cannot remember exactly what it is, but it's the smallest one. So you can't go wrong if you want to make one of these. You just need um, drawer pulls for the ends and then just go into Home Depot or Lowe's and just tell them you want the threaded you want the smallest threaded rod that they have. And then I stored it on peg hooks. I put one on each end as well as one in the middle because this is so heavy. Um, it needed that support in the middle, but you could also use hooks on a wall. I believe that would work as well. And then I just wanted to show you how I keep my ribbons together. I just bought a pack of sewing pins. I kept them nearby so that way when I open a new ribbon then I have a pin to stick in there and it works beautifully. This is also very functional because all you have to do is unpin your ribbon pull off what you want, like I said before, and then pin it right back up. So I love, like I said before, I love the pegboard just because not only does it look nice, but I can see everything that I have, all my tools. I had a pegboard on my old desk inside the house, but it was just so tiny that I couldn't really fit very much on there. So when I had the opportunity to have a bigger pegboard, I could not resist. I bought those little containers from Hobby Lobby. And you guys, it's really funny. I didn't even mean to do like this pink theme, but I had already had the the pink cubes. I already had four of them. So I just purchased a few more. I had already had the pink vase with the brushes on top. And then I just so happened to pick the pink little bins at the bottom of the pegboard. So it must have been meant to be. But in the video, um, pointing at my Cricut tools, I want to put a piece of wood on the side of my Cricut cart 
that way the tools are right there and then for my transfers like I said there some are just too big to store so I wanted to be able to see those very easily and for the smaller ones that I just haven't used and put in my books yet because I have the uh, I ha actually have art books I think they're called um, portfolios for my smaller transfers and those were the ones I just didn't take out of the package and then um, this is my Cricut cart I have my joy my maker my explore air 2 my easy press all in one spot and then I have the cords in a bin so here I was just showing you my paints and my stains and I was just explaining, like I said before, that I'm going to show you guys how to make one of these with Dollar Tree products so that you guys can store your paints really beautifully and nicely as well. And then you can see all your paints. Now, I wanted to put dots on the lids of each color. That way I didn't have to store them backwards. So I will do that, but for video purposes, I just put them the wrong way and then I'm just showing you how it looks with all the paint pens in these containers that I got as well as my pens pencils and things of that nature now I always tell everybody they ask me how I do it I say I run off of lots of coffee lots of love and very little sleep so of course I had to have a coffee maker out here that way, every time I wanted a cup, I didn't have to run into the house. So I just have my little coffee corner over there. Um, I, we did purchase some corner shelving. I will also link those down below from Amazon. And I love the way that the middle turned out with the shelves. I put my little decorations up there with a clock. And then this is my camera mount. My husband mounted that for me right into my desk. I bought a barstool height computer chair because sometimes it gets a little tiring standing all day for two to three days straight when I'm filming. So I knew that I definitely needed a chair, but the one that I had wasn't going to work. You guys know that I have to have my little Dyson out here. I love this thing to clean up sawdust and everything else. So I did um, bring that out there. And then I had my uh, Bella's little Johnny jump up. Because she's at that age where I can't hold her you guys. She's so heavy. So I had to have something out here for her as well. So that is it for this video, you guys. Please let me know in the comments down below which part of the shed is your favorite. I can't believe where it started to how it looks now. It just blows my mind how just a little bit of love and light can give you such a beautiful space. I actually want to craft out here. When I was crafting before, it was hectic because it was so cluttered and I just don't do good with clutter. It gives me anxiety and I just can't handle it. So I just find myself wanting to be out here all day and night. So I can't wait to see what this year brings for us you guys are a huge part of that and I love you guys so much so if nobody told you today you are beautiful you are gorgeous and worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul I hope that you'll stick around by clicking the red subscribe button if you haven't already give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video Share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well. And I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm going to do my best to upload twice a week in 2021. I also have new t-shirts coming out and so much more. So you don't want to miss a single second. Again, I love you guys with all my heart and soul. I am humbled and grateful for each and every one of you. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. You got me going on. Now I'm moving closer to you. And it's getting dark in this room. Tell me what you want to do.
Baby, let me love you. 